Today's day two in Rwanda, I'm starting on a high note. My Uber driver is a local motorbike. I'm excited. I'm going for some shopping therapy. I'm going to an African marketplace. It's about 30 minutes away from Kigali. I get to go and see the impact of small businesses at grassroots level. As we all know, small businesses are the backbone of an economy. Small business owners are frequently described as virtuous, self-reliant and independent. You know, small businesses are really valuable because they make a huge contribution to national prosperity. So let's go. What I'm really loving about Rwanda is it's so safe. Um, despite the heavy police presence in the bigger cities, like right now I'm like in the market, it's so safe, no one's bothering me. Except for like a few people that you to buy from their stalls, but uh, the atmosphere is like really good. It's so beautiful. It's, can I see the yellow one? Let's see, um, like the yellow one here. This is beautiful, I like it. I'm gonna get this one. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Boris. And I'm Nina. Nice to meet you, Nina. Nice to meet you. So this is your business? Yeah, this is my business. Uh, how long have you been in business for? 10 years. You've been running your business for 10 years? Sure. And how's business in Rwanda? Uh, business I'm zero profit, but we get it. Is it? Yeah. Is um, the economy changing? A lot of young, um, I mean like in terms of, uh, is there a lot of young people who are running their own business? Yeah, sure. Especially like this place where you say handicraft, we have a lot of young people who do it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, it was nice. Thank you for the wonderful business. You're welcome. Alright, this is, this bars is shop. It's beautiful pieces. Hi guys! <laughs> I wanted one person. I want to work with one person. But they're like crowding me. You're nodding your head. Can I just work with this lady for now? <laughs> it's not your shop. It's her shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, what do you think? Uh, These guys don't want to give us space. We want to buy from one person. I came to a different town and uh, these guys don't know how to take me back to my hotel. So now I have to keep walking and keep asking all the, the, the motorcyclists, the taxis if they know where my hotel is. So all these taxi drivers have my address, they're having a conversation in their language trying to figure out I had a really adventurous morning. I feel really good. I shopped a lot. I realized that I'm a hustler. My hustle game was on point. I got a lot of really good deals. What I learned about the marketplace is a lot of the small business owners are really young. The one guy I spoke to is 22, he's been in business for 10 years, both his parents were killed in the genocide. He had to learn to fend for himself from a really young age. Now I'm headed to a farm just outside Kigali to check out a cool project. It's a successful self-sustenance project that is helping people who were once on the edges of hunger and poverty. This project is a symbolic key of change for Rwanda. Let's check it out. This beautiful lady is a beneficiary of a cow she received through the Geringa project. The project is a welfare system rooted in Rwanda's tradition of cattle husbandry. The way it works is a poor family is given one pregnant cow, including a starter pack, which includes access to a vet and free immunization. Once the cow delivers, the calf is donated to your neighbor and each household makes money through milk sales. There's two goals to this project. The first part is the eradication of hunger. 
The second part is the community building aspect. Donating your calf to your poor neighbor strengthens community relations. Ultimately, you become family by looking out for each other. As you can see, this lady now has about eight cows. She has chickens. She produces power for her house using cow dung. Uh, it's like a biodiversity um, thing she's got going on. She also has a water reservoir. She grows corn. She pays for her oldest son's university fees from the milk sales. This is someone who once had nothing. This is an awesome self-sustaining project, trust me. This project was birthed by activists who are moving away from depending on foreign aid. They want locals to have power and agency to shape their own lives without any NGO imposed conditions. I absolutely agree with this type of community development. I think the wealth of Africa should be in African hands. Foreign aid for me reinforces power imbalances between the West and third world countries. I also believe that foreign aid um, reproduces perceptions that stereotype Africans as poor, unproductive and dependent on their white saviors. So a project like this for me it shuts down those negative narratives. This was a good day for me. I'm ready to go chill out, but it's kind of like a good segue into the midweek. I can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store for me.